Hi everyone, welcome back to writing. Today we are going to be talking about the different types of punctuation. Now if I asked you what are the different types of punctuation, you might say period, you might say question mark, you might say exclamation point, and those would all be right. Those are all types of punctuation. The way we know what type of punctuation to use depends on what type of sentence it is. So a declarative sentence is a sentence that gives us information. It's making a statement. And that's a sentence that we're gonna use a period for. For example, my name is Miss Deutsch. This is a declarative sentence, so my punctuation is going to be a period. And here's my period at the end. This sentence is giving me information. It's letting us know the teacher's name is Miss Deutsch. Another type of sentence is called an interrogative, and that's when you're asking a question. For example, what is my name? What is the weather outside? How old am I? Those are all different types of interrogatives. When we have interrogatives, we use question marks at the end. So for example, what is for dinner? That is an interrogative, so my punctuation is going to be my question mark, and here it is. What is for dinner? One way you can think about interrogatives and whether it's a question or not, whether it's a question or not, is if I can give an answer. If you can answer it, then that means it's a question. So going back to what is for dinner, I can give the answer, I am having chicken for dinner. Because I can give an answer, this is a question, an interrogative, so my punctuation is going to be a question mark. The last type of sentence is called an exclamatory sentence. And those are sentences where we're expressing a lot of emotion or excitement. It's when, you know, you're loud in, you're loud in the way you're saying something. So I'm not going to say, my name is Miss Deutsch. That's not, a, that's not an exclamatory sentence. An exclamatory sentence is where I'm going to be excited or maybe I'm scared about something, but there's a lot of emotion in how I am saying it. For example, it is my birthday. That's an exclamatory sentence. I'm excited. I'm expressing emotion that it is my birthday. Notice how I sounded different when I said, it is my birthday, than how I sounded when I said, my name is Miss Deutsch. That's because there are two different types of punctuation, a period and an exclamation point. Exclamation point lets the reader know that this is a sentence with a lot of emotion behind it. So we are on page 36 in your packet, and page 36 gives you, gives you different sentences, and they want you to put in the correct punctuation. So let's look at number one. Number one says, there are 33 students in my class. So take a few seconds and think about what punctuation should go there. Should it be a period? Should it be a question mark? Should it be an exclamation point? I hope you said period because that would be correct. So this type of sentence, there are 33 students in my class, is a declarative sentence. It's giving us information about the class, that there are 33 students. So my correct punctuation is going to be a period. And this was number one on page 36. Now we're going to look at number two. And I want you to think about what type of punctuation you would do. What time does the class start? So if you said question mark, you would be correct because it's an interrogative sentence. It's asking us something. What time does the class start? I can give an answer. I can say the class starts at 8.30. This means it's a question and the question mark is my correct punctuation. And finally for number three. The house is on fire. 
Fair. What punctuation would you use for that? If you said exclamation point, you would be correct. Because if the house is on fire, you're going to have a lot of emotion. Some, you're going to be scared. You're going to be yelling like, oh, no, the house is on fire. And so you're going to use your exclamation point. So now that we've gone over the three types of punctuation, question mark, period, exclamation point, you can finish the rest of page 36. I'll see you on Thursday when we're going to practice this some more. Bye, everyone.